to the motions to compel the request for production sets two, three, and four. And to short circuit things a little bit, those have the same issue that set one did. There was no conferral. So I'm going to deny those. Certainly, if there continues to be an ongoing discovery issue, um, they could be refiled after a conferral. I do see that plaintiff has filed a response, and perhaps that resolves some of those issues, perhaps not. If not, the two of you need to, or parties need to confer to see if they can resolve it short of the court's involvement. If not, and the appropriate procedures followed, we can address those issues. Well, I filed these way back, some of them in December, early this year. And her response was, part of the response is, the requests are no relative to the defense of the different party. Why would I want to waste time conferring with her when she skips up front what you're asking for is no relative? Because you're required to under the rules. What does that look like? I mean, I've emailed her asking for things, and she hasn't responded. You're required to confer, which means you're required to have a conversation about what's requested and what's not being provided. If that's happened, the certificate wasn't included in the motion, which is required. And the rule is very clear. I must deny the request if it's not there. There's, It's not discretionary. It's a must. So I can refile. You could refile. Assuming you file that appropriate procedure, then we can get to it on the merits. Can we complete our conferral right there and now? No. That, that's not sufficient. The two of you need to talk about what it is that you're requesting, what it is that she's either providing or not providing, and why, to see if you can work it out. The whole point is to give you an opportunity to avoid needing to come to court to get the court's assistance in getting it provided. Uh, she may be able to persuade you that, yes, what you're requesting is not relevant for particular reasons. You may be able to persuade her that what you're requesting is not what she thought you were requesting and that it is, in fact, relevant and she needs to provide it. Your Honor, I didn't think I had to justify reasonable requests like insurance policy, type insurance policy. It depends on the circumstances of the case, whether or not those are reasonable requests, and if they are, when we get here to a motion to compel, they'll be granted. If they're not, they'll be denied. But we can... We can cross that bridge when it's appropriately in front of the court. Let's see, that then gets us to the motion to strike sham pleadings, which was filed.